verschiedene Schnittstellen. I have various interfaces available to me. Brake, Accelerator. I can use these to influence acceleration and deceleration. But the thing that is absolutely vital is the steering wheel in my hands. The steering wheel is the most important interface between the driver and the vehicle because it gives me direct feedback from the car. There is a list of seven characteristics that apply only to steering feel. It's crucial for us to achieve extremely high precision in this respect. Attributes such as effortlessness that has a bearing on things like parking and how easy it is to negotiate parking garages. We need to make sure that the vehicle is maneuverable and precise, that I can apply even the slightest steering angle, say less than five degrees to the left or right, and the vehicle will give me a response immediately without being twitchy. All it takes is a few meters for customers to feel comfortable in their car because it simply does exactly what they want or what they expect from the car. Those are the key features that we focus special attention on. It takes five years to develop a car from the concept phase to serious production. The process involves defining certain target characteristics to suit the vehicle's positioning. Based on the targets that come out of that, we decide whether we need additional systems such as rear axle steering as used in the Q7 in 2014, or even dynamic all-wheel steering to achieve various ratios on the front axle as well via the drive select system like here in the A7. Then of course development doesn't start in the vehicle right away. First of all, we run simulations and carry out preliminary tuning. To start with, we look at the basic behavior, how the vehicle is responding, how the rear axle is responding. Only then do I take the car to the initial prototype stage because there are a huge number of influencing parameters that just cannot be mapped by numbers and simulations. There are various body shapes, load states and so on. All of that needs to be considered and you need to find a good middle ground to ensure that you get the classic Audi steering feel in every situation. Dynamic all-wheel steering is incredibly important because we have integrated rear axle steering. Steering in the opposite direction at low speeds means no longer cutting corners in parking garages. That's the effortlessness and maneuverability that the car gives you. Here we can see that if you put some energy into your steering and build up a decent amount of lateral acceleration, the rear axle will steer as well in a way that doesn't cause what we call a two-phase effect. That means that we feel only what the front axle is doing and then the rear axle follows suit. That improves the driving experience and has a huge beneficial impact on the feeling of safety at this point. Feedback is important as well. First of all, I want to feel feedback from the road surface through the steering wheel. Then I want to know how much more potential force I have on the front axle. When I go around a bend in winter, I want to feel when I'm starting to lose grip and when I'm getting understeer. I need to know how the balance is and whether I'm reaching the limit. These are things that are important when it comes to feedback.